Hey yo, it's Brandon Lauren. Welcome back to Rome Total War as the Skippy Eye. If you remember last time, uh, the Macedonians betrayed us and uh, the Romans are going against them Total War fashion. As well as we uh, lost our commander up in that area and we besieged Thapsus of the Carthaginians and the Numidians took Carthage in a brilliant military campaign. So uh, today, hopefully we can push out in Africa, perhaps push out in Athens and... Uh, End the turn. Uh, Julie wanted us to engage this little Gallic Navy there. That's fine. I can do that. And we did that. So, all good. And uh, Numidia is chilling over there. I don't know if they want to take this territory. They probably can't defeat our army, so they're just going to wait and see if we lose, which is low chance. Uh, looks like they're about to besiege Thessalonica, and they might be able to take it. If they can, uh, the Macedonians will be definitely crippled, and the Brutii will have a huge foothold in Greece. Uh, but if the Macedonians can survive, then it might be difficult for the Brutus. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Large army on ship. We got to take this out. Uh, I know we we're at ceasefire, but we got to take that army out. Because it's it's a little too dangerous to have going around. You know, we need to take it out. And uh, we're training some troops in Rhodes. We can take off a couple of those now that we uh, took out the reinforcements there. I guess since we got a ceasefire, they're taking it back maybe. But, uh, you know, I don't trust them, so. They're at war with the Brutii, so we got to go back to war with them, I guess. Can't have too much peace with the Macedonians. And Public Scipio, what a man. Holy cow. Uh, we're going to retrain him, and we'll build a Legion Barracks so we can get some early Legion Accords if necessary. Uh, well, I want the ability to mass produce units if if a problem arises somewhere. And then I'll. Having the ability to mass produce good units is very useful. And uh, in Sparta, we're still building some population. We can build an early Legionary Cohort. That'll be nice. Uh, Kaidonia can construct a ship right. So get some more trade there right in the middle of uh, Rhodes and Corinth and Sparta. You know, get some extra trade there. Macedon and Scythia have declared ceasefire. Syracuse has finished legionary cohort. Very nice. Uh, we got our ships here. Assassins here. Let's take out some buildings. City barracks. And let's hit uh, Temple of Artemis. See if we can hit both of those. Hit the barracks and hit the temple. Very nice. Reducing their happiness and their military production. And they didn't repair the stables from last time. So their <coughs> city of Athens is getting torn down a little bit by our uh, saboteurs. It's very nice. Uh, in Capua, we're going to build a Quinarium. Quinarium. And uh, get some more advanced ships going all around. Get some more naval power for this new army that we're constructing. That'll be good for it. And, uh, yeah. I, I say the Brutii have pretty good chances there with that army. Uh, unless one of those Macedonian armies can come from the south and take them out. I think they have a pretty good shot at taking that zone. And then the Brutii are free to, to pretty much destroy the Macedonians. Uh, our little Scipii army here. We can move that up and try to defend the Julii a little bit. But uh, probably not going to work. And I'll keep playing with that army until they die, basically. So, Because I, I, I like... You know, like I said before, I like watching the battles kind of more than actually fighting sometimes. So, yeah. Dee -hee -hee. And I'm going to end the turn. Macedon is uh, blocking the pole. That's fine. You can block any pole all you want, Macedon. Ain't going to bother me, yay. Yay. Uh, looks like the Brutii I did lose, though, at Thessalonica. So, good job, Macedonians, are defending there. But uh, we don't want that because that's... they're part of us. And there goes the phone. I'm going to have to ignore that for a little bit. Uh, actually, I'll be right back. Sorry about this. And we're back. Sorry about that little phone call that I had to take care of. Anyway, things are going well construction-wise. Financially, we're doing very good. Uh, no more in the world, I believe, so... Thaps is about to give out. They have a lot of javelin men and stuff, so we have plenty of cavalry could handle those armies if Numidia decides to attack us, of course. But uh, right now, we're friendly with Numidia. We don't want to war with them. We want to take out the Carthaginians first and then fight the Numidians who are taking over most of the rest of Africa. So, yeah. And it looks like Pontus is probably going to take Sidon here. And, yeah. Oh, they took uh, that settlement. Uh, they still have Babylonia. Egypt still have Babylonia. Parthia still has a large city over there as well. 
And they took this element down here too, so yeah, we're gonna need to go help them with that new army we're creating pretty soon. And uh, looks like the Germans are coming down maybe to attack the Gauls. That would be interesting. Interesting twist, it would be. And yeah, these early legionary cohorts are, or these legionary cohorts are very good, very dependable soldiers. Uh, they'll be the backbone of our army pretty much because they they take one turn to train and they're pretty darn good. So pretty much the backbone. Oh, looks like they didn't win. Pontus, they gave up or something? I don't know. Interesting. Uh, yeah. So we got two family members here. I'm trying to figure out which one should we take. Hmm. We'll take this guy. We'll keep. We'll keep lol. Yes, there. And uh, this guy will be our commander for this army. And we'll deposit these legionary cords into the army, like so. And uh, we got a few more turns for the army to create. Of course, we got quite a few turns. I uh, will build some auxilia in Masana. Masana can build some auxiliary troops. So, we'll build some agents as well. And Lee Bomb can construct. Uh, a couple quinariums and a Roman cavalry. So, that'll be nice. A little bit of a bolster from our secondary cities there. Or Syracuse is our main military settlement. Uh, lots of money coming in. Syracuse finished the blacksmith. We want an armor or a form. Would probably be better. A little more economy. Actually, you know what? Yeah, armor, definitely. Because then we can finish that in time and retrain our troops and get the extra armor. Very helpful. And now uh, over here we can build some units as well. Or build some buildings. I mean. And you know what? This little this little midget army, they can't retreat, so we might as well take it down. And uh, we got we could probably just take down with our archers, so let's just take down this little unit. This little chunk of Macedonians, I guess you could say. And that'll help us uh, gain favor with the Senate by hurting an enemy of the Senate. You know. I think every battle you win against a major enemy of the Senate does increase your favor. Although I'm not too sure about the mechanics of that. So. I know completing missions is only a temporary bonus. But. Whatever. Uh, we still have some Hastati in this army, but we got early legionary cohorts. We got uh, Auxilia. Or Town Spearman, if you will. And uh, fire at will. Auxilia or town spearmen slash auxilia do not have missiles, so in that regard, they're worse than Hastati, but they're good spearmen. So, and uh, we'll move the army down here a little bit, and then we should be able to launch our archer salvos at them. Uh, archer auxilia do have longer range than Roman archers, and uh, they do have a little bit better missile attack. I think by one. There we go. That's a good formation right there. Make them run. And if they do decide to come up and attack us, they're going to have to face all the Pila that we have, so good luck. Uh, these Archer Auxilia, yeah, they can definitely fire from a good distance. And our Roman Archers are firing as well. Just kind of scouting over the new troops that we have here. Very, very sexy. Got the new helmets going on. Uh, I forget what those are called. I think those are called the Quinciums, perhaps, or Galax, I don't remember. But, uh... Looks like we're gonna have a mini archer war here, perhaps. Uh, unless we kill this whole unit before they can even get a shot off, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, kill him. Woo. Uh, anyway, this is just gonna be kind of basic here. So, how's it going today, guys? It is a uh, Tuesday, August, and uh, it's a pretty good day today so far. Uh, no complaints. Uh, that video, the last video, Skippy I nine. Uh, I don't know what happened with that video. Uh, it took about like eight hours to upload. I was busy all day and I came back and it still wasn't done. So I just let it sit there for a while. I don't know. That was that was ridiculous. Uh, I think I'm going to have to start rendering in 720p now. I know. Oh, boo. Boo. You'll probably figure that out because this video will only be in 720p. But I got to get used to the school schedule anyway. And uh, we're going to be busy in the next few days with uh, getting ready for school and stuff. It will continue on shoot the rest of them and uh yeah so uh from now on our videos are gonna be in 720p i know i know i know but honestly 
uh, you know, that Egyptian Chronicle video is 720p, and it doesn't look too much different than, like, the Skippy Eye videos. So, it's not that big a deal, guys. So, don't worry about it. And it makes it a lot easier for me to upload and render. So, uh, I hope you guys don't mind. It's still, still high definition, but just not as high definition. <laughs> Just kind of checking out the map here. The Gauls are losing land. They lost Massilia just now. Looks like they're about to lose Lugdunum to the Julii. So the Julii are pushing out pretty successfully over here. Oh, the Spanish have taken this town. Spanish have taken Narble Martius. So uh, if the Julii go to war with the Spanish, they'll give us a Casas Belly to attack the Spanish. Um, so that's pretty cool. And uh, we got one more turn there, I think. So that's nice. We'll be able to take Thapsus without any Carthaginian resistance at all. And I'll take out some of these Macedonian ships. Very good. And, uh... Did we sink that ship with the army? I don't remember. Hopefully we did. Hopefully it won't pop up somewhere. So, cut down those ships very nicely. And, uh, we got our spy there going buck nuts. And, uh... Macedonia has a large army on the boards. They may go attack Thermon there. And give the Broody Eye a run for their money in the area, which would be interesting. And if the Broody Eye start to lose settlements, uh, I will need to help them direly. But uh, as long as the Broody Eye are neutral with Macedonia, or winning, of course, we're not going to really assist them too much. Uh, actually, I'm kind of thinking about taking Athens. Uh, we might go attack Pergamum to the northeast there, but I'm thinking with that new army, we're going to swing in, take Athens, and then head off to Pergamum. Kind of like a, it's kind of like a direct route there. I think that'll be the best option. So we're going to move our little army up here, and he's going to get killed, no doubt, because uh, the Julia army ran away. Uh, they want a ceasefire. Uh, you know how I was saying that we want to take Athens? Well, how about if you give us Athens? No? Okay. I thought that might be a little compromise that we could have made there. Carthage wants a ceasefire, probably. Yes. No. We want to kill you. Exterminate. Way too many people, and it's already a large city, so it's not really necessary to. Numidia is spying on us. Hmm. I think they're planning something devious. Got to watch out for them. They got, you know, they got quite a bit of force in the area, so we got to watch out. And for some reason, the Gauls didn't attack us, so we're going to retreat. Uh, Sparta has been sabotaged. That's interesting. Uh, I haven't been sabotaged in a long time. I'm forgetting what the menu looks like. Anyway, uh, I think the Macedonians probably sabotaged us. Uh, we can't build spies because they sabotaged our form. So that was that was a good play by them, actually. I was trying to build a defensive spy. <clears throat> but uh, we'll repair that. All good. Uh, through Grotz, Curly. Popularity gain with the Senate. Popularity gain with the masses. Very cool. New family member. Sparta got a stone wall. Building the academy. Corinth got an armor. We're building... Uh, we'll, re we'll retrain these units that can be retrained. As many as we want. And we'll build another early engineer cohort. We don't really need cavalry there because it's going to be pretty much a city defense force. Uh, so, not necessary. We'll build a form as well. Actually, it's shipwright. We need more naval trade in the area. Because the Brutii are here. It's not just us that we're trading with. And uh, for now, we're trading with Pontus. That'll end soon. But for now. And I don't know where that Macedonian navy went with the army in it. But uh, it's not around, apparently, so... It's fine with me. Uh, well, we'll station in here, and we can retrain all these ships. So we'll do that. We'll get those armor upgrades, and we'll replenish the numbers. So that's very nice. That'll help them in combat, definitely. And things in Syracuse are looking good. Three more turns until the armor is done, and then we can get some very nice legionary cohorts. Uh, Flavius the Engineer is very good at making units, apparently. So, yeah. They already have plus two weapons upgrades, which is very nice. We'll just put these legionary cohorts back in the city to get retrained when, when they can. So there's that. And let's check out Thapsis. Let's see what they got going on in Thapsis. They must have had some riots or some sabotage. Uh, we can retrain some units here. We can build early legionary cohorts, and we can build legionary cavalry, uh, which is a new addition for our armies. That's a heavy cav. It takes two turns, but it's pretty powerful. So uh, if, you, if you're making some long-term plans on building an army, I'd build Legionary Cavalry. Otherwise, Roman Cavalry is good enough uh, for short-term armies, especially if you have armor, if you have sufficient upgrades. Uh, 
and we're also building a, a shrine there because they didn't build any religious buildings, which is interesting. And uh, just checking out what they got in Serta here. We got to we got to be very watchful of the <coughs> of the Numidians now because they're the only opponent really that we have. Because I mean they they just have a town left that probably doesn't have much garrison at all. We'll probably move out and attack them in a couple turns. So no big deal there. Gonna save it. And check our Senate stuff. Uh, oh, we're, we got 7 out of 10 on the Senate force, so we're ahead on the Senate rating. Very nice. Probably because we took out Thapsus. So that's cool. Uh, we are the best Roman nation. Very nice. And we're trying to sabotage Athens here. Did we succeed in both endeavors? Yes, we did. Very nice. Uh, that costs Macedonia money every turn if, they, if we keep sabotaging, so it's a drain on their economy. Passive drain. Looks like the Julia are probably going to take Lugdunum. There's not much Gallic resistance there. Pretty much all the Gallic forces stationed in Batavium, which is sheltered from the rest of the Gallic lands. So the Julia have a chance to sweep up all those Gallic lands, and then they can focus on Batavium because there will be a lot of money, and they can just chip away at it. It's a shrewd tactic, but I think it'll work. Uh, we are the strongest faction, so we have the highest military score. Very nice. Uh, yeah. Construction report. Lots of stuff. Oh, well, lots of repairs, I guess, not actual stuff. Uh, in Masana, we can go get an awesome Temple of Saturn. Why not? Carlos is done constructing for now. We'll wait until it becomes a city, and then we'll construct more, of course. Lady Baum is a little unhappy. We can build a great form. Actually, we should build tab awesome Temple of Saturn as well for the happiness. Thapsis, you can go out and build well, second level Temple of Saturn. And there's really no point in retraining the ships. Could build a Legionary Cab, but uh, we don't really need to spend that much time training troops. I'd rather have two units of, I'd rather have a unit of uh, Aerial Legionary Cohorts and a unit of Roman Cav than have a unit of Legionary Cav. And it same goes for, like, uh, I'd rather have two units of legionary cohorts than a unit of Praetorian cohorts or urban cohorts. So, there's that as well. And uh, we're going to send out an army here, most of our troops. We'll send. Put this guy in there as well. And uh, next turn we'll, we'll unload there. And uh, Usually I don't condone captain warfare, but uh, it's, a, it's a town. Uh, and the Carthaginians, they're pretty much on... Don't have any military, because they didn't even try to defend Thapsus, so... Uh, you'll be fine. Ooh, he got a... He started... This guy started with two command? Very nice. I guess academies... I did not know that academies could uh, help admirals. I guess so. Well, that is news. Anyway, we're going to take out this little Gallic navy here. That's trying to be annoying. And failing. So, that's good. Uh, Capua has a little bit of a militant garrison. Just... Just to watch out, you know, just in case some things happen. And, oh, shoot, they did land. Crap. So we need to train some more troops. But uh, I think we can defend pretty well. We got, we even have artillery there to defend. Uh, we'll get our navies over. We'll clear up all these Macedonian ships. They seem to really want to go after Rhodes. Seems to be their uh, priority. And there goes the phone again, but um, I'm going to ignore it this time. Because last time it was nobody, so probably nobody again. And uh, we're going to save it. And then the turn will move these guys back. Save it. Lutrix the Onyx. Interesting. Holy! He's honestly a great commander. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Let's roll. Save. And end the turn. My eye is twitching. Stop! I... What are you doing? And Lugatrix the Onyx has attacked us here. So very interesting. Uh, holy cow. Look at look at all these traits in Retinue. He's got Max Retinue, I believe. Famously courageous. Holy cow. Um, but they got some experience too, our Julia allies. And they have more men. So I think we have a shot here. Can we win? I don't know. If we lose, the city of Mediolania might be open for uh, a sacking by the Gauls. But, uh, you know, I think I think we got this. I think we can do it. What do you think? 
Let's go. The blade and cells decide to violence. Yes, that's true. True. Very true. As you can see, the Roman families have much respect for each other at this point. <laughs> Unlike, you know, our guy in the the intro cutscene, who did not have much respect. Uh, the generals have a lot of respect for each other. And now, ooh, they have chosen swordsmen too. Ugh, gosh. Uh, I don't think our army's going to stand a chance, but the Julia, if we can hurt it a little bit, the Julia army might be able to do something. I think the Julia army will be okay. <laughs> I can't believe just routed. They're just like, ah, not today. Oh, not today. Yeah. That's probably going to be the theme of this battle. Uh, we might be able to take out one of these horses. Oh, looks like they're, looks like they're facing towards the Julia army. I guess that makes sense. It's a bigger threat. Ah! Sniffle nose, McGee. Uh, Cavalry came back from rounding, so we can send that back in. And, uh, we can... We should be able to take out these Illyrian mercenaries, right? Right? I mean, come on. Come on. Here comes the Julia army. Pretty good troops in there, I'd say. But we should be able to take out these mercenaries. They got 81 men. Too far away for the javelin. Uh, unless they tag us with their family members. Which they might. Let's chase down the Illyrian mercenaries with our cavalry. Probably won't win, but they might. I have been surprised before. It'll move into position to attack one of their family members here. Might as well try, right? And we charged in, killed five of them, and then lost. There we go. And here come here comes the Gauls. Uh, something about something that rhymes. Uh, that was that was pitiful. Oh uh, yeah, we killed one, two. You guys are starting to route. Hmm. Yeah, that didn't work too well. Uh, <laughs> oh, this army's probably gonna disappear if we lose this battle. So that's fine. Then we then we have to stop worrying about the Gauls up north. And, uh, you know, we'll stop wasting time up here and be able to focus. You guys are probably yelling at me, like, oh, dude, why are you doing these little dumb battles? I don't know, I, I like having fun doing this. It's about my having fun sometimes. I'm sorry, gosh. Uh, looks like they're gonna try to... S I thought they were gonna send those town watching to help. But they're just gonna let the Equites die, apparently. That's, that's cool. I'm gonna throw some people in here. Uh, if they surrounded their general, they could probably kill him. Oh, it's the uh, Julia General versus this general. Looks like the Julia General is winning. And who died? Oh, he killed them. Oh, uh, the Julia General was able to take down this guy. Looks like they're getting charged in the back by some barbarian noble cav. Uh, they should be able to deflect that, I believe. And uh, it's going to be pretty much most of the Julia army versus Lugatrix himself here. And uh, I don't know. I don't think Lyrictrix is going to win that because there's just too many guys. But holy cow, they got a lot of Chosen Swordsmen fighting down here against the Julii. Uh, they are going to win this little battle here, this little skirmish between this warband here. Although it's not routing, holy cow. And oh, the Julii, their general's routing. That's not good. We don't get a message for that if our ally general routes, just if he dies. Uh, so with all this cavalry, they can probably take out this whole Julii force here. And it looks like they're going to... Looks like they're going to take down these Velites. Good move. Uh, so this is starting to look not as good as I thought. Probably because Lugatrix is just ridiculous commander. But, uh... Julia commander came back, smashed into the back of these Barbarian Nobles, taking out a lot of them there. So, good good play by him. Uh, these guys are getting whittled down a little bit, but, uh... Still says only a fool. And we got some Gallic Auxiliaries and Chosen Swordsmen up here. Oh, and a Cavalry Charge right in the rear. Good timing by the Gallic Commander to launch that. And uh, Veltace destroyed, of course. Because they're only Veltace, after all. 
And, uh, yeah, I, I have bad feeling because the early Legionary Corps are really the only really good unit in this army, and they're almost dead. They do have some Talon Watch, but they're not going to really t help too much against Lugaturix, who has, like, gold. Gold. I don't know. And there we go. There's the Julia Column routing. So, yeah. Ah, uh, this is a defeat for the Romans. Another one in the area. But that's okay. Because it's not my area. They're... The Gauls have to go through a lot to get to me, so I don't even care. Clearly defeated. Oh. Come on, Julia. <laughs> uh, clear defeat. Uh, we only killed about 150 of them. And they killed about 900 of us, so <laughs> that didn't go too well. <laughs> Probably should have retreated. But, uh, whatever. Uh, he may retreat, though, because his force is definitely dwindled. And a large Julia army could probably take him out, so. There's that. And, uh, we still have our army alive, so that's interesting. Uh, we'll move him up right next to Medialanum, per usual. Macedon and Thrace are now at war, so I think Thrace is trying to get a piece of the action against Macedon. They realize Macedon's at war with the Romans, so why not try to take some of their land? That's probably smart of them. Armor built there. Roads. We can construct some public baths. Why not? And build another couple of units of archers to defend the walls. Uh, I'm glad that we built stone walls here. Because uh, if that army does decide to attack at some point, then we'll be well defended. Auto manage there. Take those guys out. Auto manage there. Take these guys out. Shredding all the navies. Just because we have such a significant advantage that doesn't even matter. How much bad luck I have, and uh, yeah, we can't. I don't. I don't want to attack the army directly with the army because I think we might lose at that point. But uh, if we siege defend, I think we can win. We'll move this army down. Next turn, we can get rid of the blockade at Kydonia. So yeah, looking good. And lots of units being constructed, being constructed, being constructed. Yeah, we we build the units from the ground up. Mm hmm. <clears throat> you guys being trained is what I mean. We'll send that army out in a couple turns. Uh, this navy will deposit over down here. Oh! What? Oh. What? Okay, apparently Carthage has a big army. Defending a town. Uh, we'll keep the ships there. If they decide to attack us, we'll try to fight them. And we'll probably lose, and then we'll have to retreat back to Thapsus, where we can retrain most of the guys, except the Hestati, of course. But if we do win, you know, then we can take Lep Lepsis Magna, so we'll see. Otherwise, we'll retreat and uh, maybe reprioritize, because uh, we don't really... Hmm. I don't really have the means to attack that size of an army at this point. And some sabotaging going on. Everything else looking good. We're still allies with uh, Pontus. We'll probably end the alliance and then go attack him. When I know that I want to attack him, that is. Uh, the Germans are moving that army around. I don't know what they're up to. I don't know what their initial plan was. Uh, maybe they want to go take Dacian capital, but uh, Thracians have a fort there. So they might want that. Uh, Thracians, not sure what they're up to exactly. But uh, I think, in my opinion, they're probably stronger than Macedonians currently. So there's that. One failed, one succeeded. Uh, oh, the Germans are sieging Alicia up there. Interesting. Batavium is losing garrison. So uh, the Germans and the Gauls are at war. That's 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 news. The Germans might become a very tough faction to beat for the Julii. Uh, we may even have to fight them at some point. Gauls want to cease fire? No. Not until Batavium is taken. I've already said that. Numidia spying. Uh, okay. If they wanted to launch an attack, that would have been the time. But they didn't. They want us to blockade Athens. We can do that. We sure can do that. Take out this navy first, and then we can do that. Get a little extra favor at the Senate. Never bad. So that's good. Sabotage. Oh, Sparta has a damaged form once again. And uh, again, I can't train spies. But we'll be training another unit archers because we need some archers there. 
Good archers. Good archers. Good archers. And uh, Quintus Casayas also has died. He was a diplomat, but we have another diplomat there, so not a big deal. Syracuse is getting pretty large city size. Uh, we'll train another next little temple of Vulcan. Uh, that won't affect this uh, recruitment, but uh, the next wave of recruits will have those upgrades. Uh, the fifth level, or the that level of Temple of Vulcan starts adding experience upgrades as well as the armor and weapons. So very nice. Build a forum in Corinth. Kydonia can go ahead and build an arena. Why not? Thapsus can go ahead and build mm, Stonewall for defense. I don't trust these guys. We'll build some more legionary cohorts as well. Britannia and Germania declare a ceasefire. Uh, they did not attack us. That's fine. We're going to retreat for now. And uh, we're going to, to reprioritize our army. Not exactly sure what we're going to do. We might go attack Carthage, actually. That might be the best option. So we might see us do that. Hmm. Interesting. And everything else is looking pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. But Oh, they defended Sidon still. So maybe the Egyptians will be okay. Mostly, though. Saw so Babylonia. Uh, Pontus hasn't pushed any farther south. These are all huge cities, pretty much, too, which is incredible. Even though that's in a town still. Usually they grow settlements. Maybe not. Uh, Eunice there still has a large army. We still need to keep some garrison there just in case. Just in case the Macedonians attack. And, uh, yeah. Second is Lolio is going to take over for Julianus because he's 71, so he's probably going to die soon. And end the turn. See what is going on. Carthage is going to enter diplomacy with our random captain. Hmm. Actually, actually, ceasefire is not a bad idea. There we go. Okay, we're going to reprioritize against the Numidians, take out a couple Numidian settlements, and then go down and finish off the Carthaginians. That's that's our plan. Take Carthage, probably take their capital of Cirta. Uh, those will probably be their two best settlements. Take that out, cripple them, and then finish off the Carthaginians while we don't have to worry about the Numidian threat. Uh, so that that's I think that's going to be our plan. Send a mission assigned. Attack Larissa. Uh, we don't really have the means to take Larissa at this point, but thanks for offering, I guess. Asian detected Macedon. That's cool. That's cool. My microphone keeps turning, so if I if I sound a little quiet, um, sorry about that. And uh, we got some good... Julian Scip Scipio is a censor, which is probably not good because he's going to die soon. And uh, we got a bunch of low-level guys. That's fine. Strongest factions, again. Very nice. Repairs complete. Uh, does that mean we have no buildings built this turn? Guess so. Uh, we can build a spy there. Might as well. While well, I'm thinking about it. And uh, Broody Eye and, and Thrace have declared that they're allies. So, yeah, they are going to team up against Macedon, I think. Very interesting. And now uh, we got a large army navy there. Put these guys in the boat, send them over. Uh, combine the navies. We got a little nice little navy there with a good commander. Put this guy in the boat. Yeah, we're almost ready to send out. So, actually, we'll, we'll put pull this guy out. We can try to get a mercenary captain. No, nope. uh, those guys will be helpful anyway. And put these guys. We'll put these guys in here. Get some, get some good upgrades on them, and then send them out. I believe is the way we're gonna do it. And then put the town watch back in. And uh, can the, oh, Rome cavalry can't reach. That's unfortunate. So yeah, there we go. See, Carthage is very, very lightly defended. So I think we can take that pretty easily. I think Numidia thinks. I think Numidia thinks that we're thinking that. We're not going to think, think, the think, the think. Uh, so we're going to send Asinius out. I think that's enough defense uh, with with Stonewalls coming up and extra early legionary cores. I think we can take that, and we'll siege Carthage next turn. We'll probably siege Assault, and that'll be very nice. Very cool to see a siege Assault of large walls in a large city. So you'll get to see that. A huge city, actually. And uh, we'll take out these... Gallic bolts. I don't even know why the Gauls are down here with their navies. They should go to, like a siege to some Julii ports or something. But uh, that's that's fine with me. 
Mason Dunn's still not doing anything. That is fine. I am totally okay with that because I do not want them to attack us if they do not want to. Mm. Sabotage some more of Athens. Might as well. And then once we take Athens, you know, we'll stop sabotaging, of course. Because that would be foolish. Foolishness. And we'll probably go up and sabotage Larissa. Or Thessalonica. Thessalonica. That's her shmonica. Oh. <laughs> I should shut up. Spain, what do you want? Alliance. Oh, I don't really want an alliance. I'll take your map information. Here, I'll trade map map info with you. No, you really want an alliance, don't you? I don't. Because I, I want to go to war with you at some point. Actually, pretty soon. Like, I want to get up there. Because, I mean, you're expanding. Uh, Spain looks like a pretty formidable power, actually. So I want to go to war with them. Lots of units being trained. Public baths complete in Rhodes. Rhodes. Uh, we'll build another unit of cavalry, I believe. A couple units. We don't have really cavalry in here. And we'll build an arena. And then we should be able to defend. We might even launch an attack on that Macedonian army at some point. And if we lose, we can just retreat back into the city and retrain. So, ha! No, no, no real problem. And uh, we'll try to sabotage as well here. Per usual. We missed the city barracks, but we hit it that time. So very good. Not much damage, though, unfortunately. So that's not going to hurt their economy too much. But it still hurts it a little bit. And every little bit counts. Uh, I don't know what the Broody Eye are doing. They got armies over here when they should be attacking the Macedons. Maybe they're conflicted whether they should attack Batavium or, you know. And the Julia, Julia have taken Lugdunum. Looks like they're going to move up and scout uh, Alicia here. I'm just kind of seeing what's going on. I'd say the Gauls are pretty much on their way out. Uh, we're going to attack Carthage. And we're going to blockade their port as well. And they all got three units in there. Uh, we'll build four siege towers. We could build sap points. But uh, I think siege towers would be the better way to go. And uh, we'll just get up on the walls and then take it quickly. That's the way we go. Sabotage mission failed and success. We saw that before. That's all good. And uh, they do have large armies. Maybe they're going to go attack the Carthaginians. That that would be nice. That would be nice. But uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll spy. Yeah. See, I don't think these armies really have good technology. Uh, so I think we're okay. And uh, they still are holding side on, so that's very nice for them. Uh. Judea is still under their control. Looks like they're defending in Biozara. Uh, but that's all we're going to do today, guys. So thanks for watching this episode of Rome Total War Skippy Eye. And join us next time when we take Carthage and Epic Siege Assault. And perhaps, uh, we'll, yeah, we're going to start sending out this navy, or this army. This, this navy, yeah. And uh, perhaps we'll see the conquest of the Athens as well in the next part. And Pergamum. So uh, thanks for watching this episode of Rome Total War. Uh, this is your host, Brendan Lord. And... Uh, just saying, have a good day, and don't smoke uh, crack, because that's bad for you.